Akkadian Tintamara, between political and cultural demands. Ottawa, in New Brunswick, across Canada, Acadians are celebrating their National Day on Tuesday, the 15th of August. The occasion of a Tintamara where the festive side is tinged with a political aspect. In Ontario, the Acadian diaspora in the national capital region is celebrating its heritage every year. A Tintamara will leave Parliament Hill at the end of the day, followed by the show Canadians Salute Acadia at Jacques Cartier Park, near Gatineau. The president of the Acadian Society of New Brunswick, Sand, Kevin Arsenault, is very pleased to see such events outside Acadian lands. It is felt among several Acadians who have had to go into exile for different reasons, this concern to remember where they come from. I have a lot of friends in Ottawa Gatino who also have the opportunity to remember that they miss New Brunswick. So, if it can bring some people back, that's great news. He smiled. Between his many speeches between Karakay and Moncton, Mr. Arsenault explains to Hash ONFR that if for some people the Tintamara has an aspect mostly folkloric, it is also a political event, which allows, since the reactualization of this tradition in 1979 for the 375 the anniversary of Acadia, to convey messages. Already, Having chosen the 15th of August to celebrate our National Day and not the 24th of June, the Day of St. John the Baptist, is already a political gesture, because it defines us as a distinct people. And then, such an event forces politicians to recognize and underscore the work we have done on the ground throughout the year. It is also an opportunity to come together to carry out a collective reflection, in my speech today, I would like to remind you that celebrating the 15th of August is good, but we must also celebrate our pride every other day of the year. From a silent to noisy people. Eric Forgs, Director General of the Canadian Institute for Research on Linguistic Minorities at the Université de Moncton, concurs with Mr. Arsenault, citing the work of Ronald Labelle, a professor at Cape Breton University, on the subject. Ronald Labelle talks about a new tradition that originated in the Sharivari, which was a form of popular punishment in Acadia. People gathered to make a noise around a house of a family that had broken a social norm. Today, it's a festive moment, but perhaps the Tintamara, beyond its festive character, has kept something of the Sharivari in wanting to disturb the majority neighbours who do not make life easy for the Acadians. But the main thing to remember is that this popular festival has a meaning for the Acadian population, which participates massively, displays its colours and makes itself heard. It's a good sign. It is a sign that Acadian belonging and identity have a meaning for the population. For the linguistic rights specialist, Acadian Michel Doucette, the Tintamara marks a new pride among the Acadians, although he regrets that it often appears only on the occasion of the 15th of August. Tintamara is a cultural and political event. I remember that in my youth, we were doing a classic parade. The Acadian community was silent enough. Today, we are organising in many communities, including outside the Atlantic provinces, to celebrate Acadian pride and make its presence known by making noise. Even the Anglophone majority media have now heard of the racket. The problem is that this pride is often forgotten the very next day. Celebrating first. Established in the Ottawa area for 17 years, Isabel Dickery, a native of Edmonston, does not know if she will go to the rally on Tuesday. Although she is a member and a participant in the activities of the Acadian Association of the National Capital Region, ARCN, for her the Tintamar is above all a cultural event. Above all, it allows us to meet with friends and celebrate our roots and our culture, much like the 25th of September for Franco-Ontarians. We display our colours. This is important because not everyone knows the presence of French in the Atlantic provinces, nor does it know that New Brunswick is officially bilingual. 
It's a bit intimidating to be in Ottawa because we are not home and people sometimes wonder what we do, Marie Helen Eddy, Acadian of Ottawa. Art and spokesperson Marie Helen Eddy believes that if the Acadian people are a rather politicised people, the 15th of August is mostly to celebrate. Whether it is in Karakay or in Ottawa, I think that the racket is not a political event. It is a day of celebration, the occasion to celebrate the fact that we are still there and that we continue to speak French. An Ottawa resident for nine years, Miss Eddy acknowledged, however, that starting the hustle from Parliament Hill in Ottawa is not insignificant, while ensuring that this choice is not political. Partner of the event organised exceptionally this year by the Foundation for the Dialogue of Cultures in the framework of the 150th anniversary of the Confederation of Canada, its association, which touches more than 600 people, does not have anything political and organises only social and cultural activities. In Ottawa, there is no specific political struggle for the Acadians. To do this, we are gratified with the Franco-Ontarian claims like the bilingual Ottawa file or the Franco-Ontarian University.